Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? When Sean Payton was in New Orleans, he would often talk about the ones that got away. And I think we all know, know the list. Players that the Saints let get out of New Orleans prematurely. Uh, I think we can add Thomas Morstead to that list. I don't know if you saw, but Thomas Morstead was named the, uh, the AFC Special Teams Player of the Week. Uh, Morstead, in, in the Jets-Giants game, which was a punt fest, Morstead punted 11 times with an average of 48.1 yards per punt and down three of them inside the five-yard line. Uh, meanwhile, the Saints continue to struggle at that position. Y'all know the list. The, the long list of ones that got away. Uh, Rob Ninkovich, part of that initial draft class, a great, a great draft class in New Orleans. He was a fifth-round pick, and the Saints cut him. He was one of the final cuts of that initial draft class. And he went on to play 11 seasons, won two Super Bowls with New England, and was part of the New England Patriots all-decade all team in the 2010s. Sean Payton often talked about how Rob Ninkovich was one that got away. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins. The Saints draft Malcolm Jenkins in round one. He spends five years in New Orleans. And the Saints decide they're not going to re-sign him. After that, Malcolm Jenkins went on to spend six years with the Philadelphia Eagles. And Sean Payton often said it was one of his biggest mistakes was letting Malcolm Jenkins get out of New Orleans. So much so that they ended up bringing Malcolm back to New Orleans for his final two years in 2020 and 2021. Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles is another great example. Darren Sproles was drafted by the Chargers, as you all remember, and he spent six years in San Diego. So Sproles wasn't, when he got to New Orleans, wasn't like he was a, a young player. And Sproles comes to New Orleans and spends three years with the Saints. And Sean Payton and the organization decided that they were going to let Sproles walk. As a matter of fact, they traded him. And they traded Sproles to the Eagles. And all Sproles did was play six more seasons in the NFL with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Saints ultimately finally got back down the path because they, they traded Sproles after 13. And they finally went back down that path when they got Alvin Kamara. And Kamara has been incredible. But that gap after from 13 to 17, when they, when they got Kamara... You missed Darren Sproles. Uh, Al Woods, former LSU Tiger. The Saints drafted Al Woods in the fourth round. They drafted him in the fourth round, and they cut him. They cut. He did not make the, the team the year they drafted him. They signed Al Woods to the practice squad, but ultimately they would cut him again, and he would end up on the Pittsburgh Steelers practice squad that year as a rookie. And man, all Al Woods has done since being cut by the Saints as a rookie, is go on to play 14 NFL seasons. Al Woods, who, who by the way was injured this past week, and he's done for the season, but Al Woods went on to play, this is his 14th NFL season this year, his season with, with the Jets. The Saints have a long, long list of players that got away. And every team has them. Every team has, has misses has players that um, that you cut ties with or that you trade and they, they go on and, and do well wherever they are that you give up on. And you got to make a call when you do. And sometimes you hit and sometimes you miss. But I think we can add Thomas Morstead to that list now. Thomas Morstead, and it's in part because of how well Morstead has continued to play, but also because of how big the Saints have missed with the guys that have replaced Thomas Morstead. You you drafted Morstead in 09. Not only did you draft Thomas Morstead in 09, in round, you drafted a punter in round five. And not only did you draft a punter in round five, the Saints traded up 
to get Thomas Morstead in round five of that 2009 draft. I will never forget watching that draft. I was at my cousin Steven's house watching that draft. And I remember, it because how, how can you forget the Saints drafting a punter? And I remember saying this out loud. The Saints must be the only franchise in the world that would trade, that would trade up, trade up to draft a punter. And all Thomas Morstead did was lock that down for the Saints for a dozen years. And not only that, great community guy. Of course, everybody remembers after the Minneapolis miracle, he was one of the guys that came back out on the field because you had to put players on the field to kick the PAT. They changed the rule after. But the people of Minnesota were so generous in contributing to Morstead's charity after that. Just an all-around great dude. And the Saints decided he was at the end of his career. And so they cut him, and they signed Blake Gillikin. Well, Gillikin had two poor seasons in New Orleans. Now he's with the Cardinals, by the way. Blake Gillikin is. And after letting Gillikin walk after this season, they decided to go with Lou Headley. And I'm not sure if you've paid attention to this because we haven't talked a ton of special teams because so much of the focus and the angst around New Orleans is centered around all of the inefficiencies offensively. You, I, I, do you even know this? Do you know where Lou Headley ranks in the NFL in punting average? 42.7 yards per punt average. Lou Headley is dead last among qualified punters. Can I say that again? Lou Headley is dead last in net punting among qualified punters. Um, Thomas Morstead, by the way, at 48 yards a punt is 13th. He's not at the top of the league anymore, but he's in the top half of punters in the NFL. And he was just named AFC Special Teams Player of the Week. That uh, list of ones that got away, I think you can add more stuff. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.